Model Mapper is a powerful tool that can save a significant amount of time when it comes to converting entities to DTOs and vice versa. Let's see it in action. We have two entities, Game and Player. Model Mapper Dependency and Model Mapper Beam. Our goal is to create a REST API controller that will provide information about games. The first endpoint returns information about a game based on its ID. Exposing an entity via REST endpoint may be considered bad practice, so we'll use a DTO. We can create a DTO right from the unresolved reference. To ensure that the model mapper works correctly, the fields must have getters, setters, and no arcs constructor. To accomplish this, we simply need to check the mutable checkbox. Finally, select only the name and ID fields for this DTO. Here we go. The DTO is ready to use. To retrieve data from the database, we have to create a Spring Data JPA repository and inject it into the controller to access the required method. Thankfully, JPA Buddy streamlines this process significantly. Just start typing the entity name, and JPA Buddy suggests creating the corresponding repository. Select the base interface and specify the package. Wow! It not only generated the repository but also injected it correctly. The next step is to call the findByID method and use the map to postfix autocompletion from JPA Buddy to convert the entity to the associated DTO. Finally, we just need to return the result. Next, let's create an endpoint to fetch all records from the database. JPA Buddy allows us to map a whole collection with ease, saving us a lot of time. Moreover, if we need to implement custom mapping logic, JPA Buddy can help us with that too. Let's assume we want to get all games by the ID of their creator. We need to create a new DTO that contains the details of the game and the name of the game creator. Choose the flat type for the association since we only want to return one attribute, its name. Now, we need to create a repository method to find games by the ID of the creator. JPA Buddy allows us to do this without leaving the current class and switching focus. We can then use the map to action and select custom mapper method option to let JPA Buddy know that we want to implement custom mapping logic. The target type is our new DTO class, and the name is generated automatically. Here we go. The method is ready, and we can write our custom mapping logic in it. Our controller is ready. We just need to test it. It works like a charm. Thank you for watching.